Rad, the Grom's Tour of the Baltics is a three-week adventure across the once Soviet states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. With myself, Christian Stevenson, and a handful of the UK's finest young skaters, we travel 1,000 miles in search of skate parks and street spots. On the way, we try many activities, fall foul of the authorities, and excel at competitions. So sit back and relax. This is the Grom's Tour of the Baltics. This week on Rad, a new Grom joins the tour in Latvia. We skate this concrete heaven. We search for the rare blue cow. Oh, and we get thrown into prison. Day eight on tour, and we were on the Estonian island of Sanama. Just outside the capital Kutasare, there's a medieval castle offering the chance to have a go at archery. Fire! Yes! We were at the medieval castle and we did some bone arrow stuff. It looks easier than it is. Yeah. Oh, a point of contact! It's quite hard to get in the center. I think I might have got it once. That, that wasn't my best shot. Check it out, yeah. It was so funny, we had a competition, we could get the best score. Oh, yeah. Christian was real good at it. He's got he could get the bullseye basically whenever he wanted. Hit the yellow. It did. We had a good game of bows and arrows. Ah! The Groms had tried their best and all had improved by the end. We had to leave though, as we had a ferry to catch to the next country on our tour, Latvia. We had been on tour for over a week now, and the hectic schedule was taking its toll on the Groms. As we left Estonia and headed for Latvia, I was hoping that entering a new country would rekindle their energies. We checked in at Border Control. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Nice to and with everything in order, we boarded the ferry. The ferry soon left for a five hour crossing from Satama into the heart of Ventspils. The Groms took the opportunity to catch up on some much needed sleep. We were on our way to meet a sixth member of the team, a Latvian Grom by the name of Matter. I wondered how he would fit in and whether the Groms would accept him. While we make our way there, here's this week's installment of Tall Tales of the Tour. So Let me tell you a little story about a ghost that's been haunting us during our trip. I first noticed something was strange when we left one of our campsites. I heard strange noises in the middle of the night. Things were being moved. And Sparrow levitating three foot above his bed wasn't a good sign. 
I'd sometimes catch a glimpse of the ghost as either a light or an apparition. I tried to set a trap for the ghost, but it didn't succeed. This ghost turned out to be an old skater from Estonia called Vlad Grinder. <laughs> Apparently Vlad Grinder is very famous in these areas for doing aggressive frontside grinds. There's many myths of the way that Vlad Grinder passed away, but the most famous one is that he did a frontside grind too aggressively that he just exploded. We were putting up with the haunting of Vlad Grinder until he started making us do the aggressive frontside grinds, and to be honest with you, it was pretty tiring. We knew we had to do something about this. We knew we needed to send his spirit off to skate heaven, so we organised a little ceremony to help him on his way. To achieve this, we were to Ollie at the same time over Estonia's most famous ley line. By doing this, we sent Vlad Grinder up to Skate Heaven where he could skate to his heart's content. Good old Vlad. Five hours after boarding the ferry, we entered the port of Ventspils, ready to start the next leg of our adventure. All right, we've just arrived in Latvia, so it's time to change the flag. Goodbye, Estonia. Hello, Latvia. All right. Ollie was the first out of the blocks to touch Latvian soil. <laughs> Good job, Ollie. And over the border, matters up, sir. The sixth okay. member of our team. Thanks, sorry we're late. Okay. That's okay. It's gonna be mad as new girl. Two hours, it was four hours. Jeez, long journey. Right, I'm Tom. Tom. Matters. Matters. I am Sparrow, man. How's it going? How's it? We call him the Elephant Star. Man because yeah. he hit his head on the trampoline. Yeah. I'm Paul Luke. Matters. Paul Luke. Yeah. Hey, go. Oliver. Oliver. My name is Mother Sapse. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Ensfield. I've been skating for four years. I just love it and I can't stop it. And stuff. <laughs> Learning new tricks, try to do them in style, and when I learn something new, I feel just good. It's an amazing feeling. I just want to feel the feeling again and again and again. And so off we went. Understandably, Matter was keen to show the Groms his local skate park. Hey, Christian, we're gonna go skate. Might as well, it's only 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and your parents aren't here, right? So let's go uh, skating. Let's get one thing straight. The skate park in Ventspils is awesome, but I wasn't letting on to the Groms. You cannot say this yeah. park is rubbish. He's it's the best park I've ever seen. He didn't say that, Christian's having you on. Really? It's amazing. There's too much to skate. There's a butt up the pool, a street for all of us. I'm glad they got a boat ramp. It looks really smooth as well. So good. The best park ever. The best park I've ever been to in my life. Tomorrow is going to be good. With a park like this to shred, what could possibly go wrong? The Groms put in some final moves, and we called it a day. Coming up in part two, the Groms get to skate to Ventspils Park proper. We meet a lady with some blue cows. And I get us all arrested for skateboarding. Yay me!
bothered with waking up the Groms today, so I'm gonna let Sparrow do it. But you gotta do it in my style, is that cool? Yeah. I don't wanna know that you're coming right now. You gotta keep it all stealth. Wake up, Groms! They heard the almighty steam will come. Good job, Paulie. Good job all the time. And... Let's go get some brekkie and go skate. Yeah. The next morning, we went back to the multicolored skate park, the, the one we'd hit up the night before. Welcome to the Vanceville Skate Park. The park's built by city council and you can come skate here every day for free. If there wouldn't be this park, there would be no skate scene in Vanceville. The Vanceville Park is particularly amazing, but the Groms did seem a little lacking in energy this morning. Everyone's just a bit tired, I think. Do you know, like when you had PE in the morning and you just can't be bothered at all. So uh, even when you got a park like this, strange but true. But Fresh Legged Matter was having no such problems and was tearing about on his home turf. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Everyone got to kind of see Matter skate properly for the first time, which was fun. Has like a really like flowing style. If you look, he's not even trying when he skates. He got some amazing tricks on the rail. Meanwhile, on the other side of the park, Paul Luke was getting better acquainted with the perfect vert ramp. Paul's killing it on vert. It's going massive. Vert's amazing. It's like the best ramp. One of the best ramps of skins. This one is just like re really smooth. It's built properly. It just makes it so much easier and like you feel like you can go for bigger tricks on it. Inspired by Paul, Ben padded up and turned a few tricks. And Tom decided it was about time he learned axle stalls on vert. Oh! I'm a bit scared of doing this trick. <laughs> It was such a good ramp, it even prompted Paul Luke into a few attempts at the elusive 720. The 720 is a ridiculously hard trick, and surely it's not long before Paul makes one. Definitely next time. My best skate park in the Baltics. See you. We're going to this place where this woman named Anna raises two blue cows. Ooh, should be exciting. Your, your country is quite famous for blue cows, you know that? <laughs> like whenever I think of Latvia, I think of blue cows. Yeah? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Anna's rad. Why are we here? I want to see her blue cows. That's a blue cow. Like they told me, he's not really that blue. But he's blue. He's grayish blue. Nice. Kind of pure school. Story, a legend. Like she's like from the, from the sea, and that's why she's blue. So the cow's from the sea? Okay. 
the blue cows. It seems like the blue has kind of faded off them and they've turned a bit grey. <laughs> this is not very blue. <laughs> it's grey. Slightly greyer than grey. Look at it. Oh! <laughs> Oh, my God. Here you go. Oh, jeez, you see what just happened? No. Ate hey, my finger. <laughs> They've got chickens that make blue eggs. <laughs> I, I see a running theme here. <laughs> yeah, we'll buy some. Okay. We got some really fresh eggs, and I, I don't know if we've eaten them yet, but if we have, they were good. I looked across after that and Maddis was headbutting these goats. And then these goats were like running everywhere. Everyone was like headbutting the, the goats on the floor, which was just a funny sight. I didn't think I'd see. Wow. Oh, he pushes hard. Push. <laughs> you win. You know, it's the Grom's tour, isn't it? It's random. Oh, yes. Anna and her blue cows were rad, but I sensed the Groms were in need of a skate infusion, so we headed south to Leopaya. Matt knew of a small skate park that would be suitable for stretching the Groms' legs. I feared, however, that they are becoming a little spoilt. It's a bit rubbish. A bit not much here. The Ventspils part this morning, I'd say, was 10 out of 10, but I'd say this was 4. So, sorry, but has to be said. Before, this would be good, but because we get, like, a real good park, this is just, like, what's this? We're here at some skate park. It's not very good, but we're on the roundabout now and I'm getting a bit dizzy. Okay, so the park hadn't worked out too well, but Matter had a friend who knew of some local street spots. We are going to go speed skating with Rennes. Rennes. Rennes is going to show us um, some street spots. Where are we going now, the banks? Yeah. yeah. Everybody's got a place called the banks. <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, bank on the docks, which is different because all the surroundings are just like huge, like oil rigs and ships everywhere, and really good fun little bank to skate. It's right next to the river, so you fall over, your board's gonna fly off and go in the river, and you ain't getting it back. But yeah, we all had a really good session. It's a good noise. Here I will demonstrate the noise. Well, I will try to. Me, Paul, Luke and Ben was trying to do like three like nose blocks on this bank and uh, it took us ages to all do it together like but we got it eventually so yeah it was a good laugh. The Groms had found the park boring, and yet this bank infinitely more interesting. The challenge to make something of nothing is central to the street skating ethos. And it was Matter who showed just what is possible by trying and eventually getting this cheeky drop in. Yeah, Matter. Yeah, so slippery. 8.30, we just had a nice session by the docks, and it's time to feed the Groms with some pizza. With some pizza. There was one final spot that I've been told deserved a look in. It was situated in the grounds of a disused Soviet military prison. At least I had been told it was disused. All right, dudes, there's supposed to be a rad skate spot next to this Russian building. I think these gates right here. 
Oh, sick. Dude, it's open. Come on, man. Christian said there was a really good skate spot in this old building, so he went there to go skate. So, sorry, guys. We just, we just, we just. And these just, two just, guards just, rushed out and arrested us for no reason. We just wanted to find a skateboarding spot. This is that. Понятно? Uh, listen. Понятно? The guards were shouting and screaming at us. Yeah, just do, do as they say, okay? Do as they say, all right? They were like going crazy. I was like, whoa, chill out. I'll get, I'll get us, I'll get us out of this. I promise. I didn't understand what they were saying. They flicked everyone's hats off, got my board and chucked it. I was like, whoa, whoa, what's happening? Just do, yeah. do as they say. I'll get us out of this. I promise. I'll get us out of this. Okay? Oh man, I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. I, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> Cells, and they were scary. It was dark and smelly and horrible, and you knew loads of people had been in there before. It just sends a cringe to your spine. In my prison, no skateboarding. All right, guys, I'm really sorry. I'll never try to find a skate spot again. You guys are in charge of that, okay? Thanks a lot. Sorry, Ben. Well, tune in next week as we move from a night in the prison cell to a night in a five-star hotel. We visit the biggest water park in Latvia, and we return to the Bentsville Skate Park to enter a huge competition. Don't miss it. No one's better than Matt. Of the Baltics, Paul Luke in the Burke got a chance to rip it like Robin Hood. The Grand Street Arrows, balls ain't straight lines. Enough to see Anna with the blue and rainbow ones. And we down in the darks, making the flat bank rock the Bronx. A kid in that be a totally off. But wait, they got locked up in a Russian prison. Will they be loose from this abuse from this? Which rather will we miss them?